where you're gonna take your beat from this to this. Hey everyone, it's me, Jan Strassmussen here with another episode of Production Tricks. Today I'm gonna show you a few tricks on how to make your drums really come alive. Before we do that, please consider leaving me a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you like the content that I'm making. If you really like the content I'm making, you can become a member of my Patreon page where I make even more in-depth tutorials. All right, let's just start. The first beat I have here, these are all sounds that come included with Ableton, by the way, so they're stock sounds. So I wanna make this really come alive. Tip number one. The first one is really simple. Take your kick and put on a drum bus. Here we have the drum bus here, let's put it on much better. So it's just a normal 606 before. Yeah, it's a big difference. Now let, let's make it much shorter as well. Like that. All right, tip number two. Take your kick now and duplicate the channel and transpose the kick down two maybe. And then now just make another pattern in between the kicks into this pattern here. So we get this nice pattern in between. Tip number three. Now we're gonna take this shaker and make it really come alive. Like this, it just sounds like this. That's boring. Let's do something to it. So now what I've done is I put a vocoder on the shaker and I've assigned the um, an LFO on the release time of the vocoder, as you can see it's moving there. Did some EQing, out of pan, some reverb, and now it sounds like this. Like you can see, it's always getting a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, really gives it some movement. So now it sounds like this. Tip number four. And this is to kind of move your claps and snares around so they f feel a little bit more alive. So you see the claps here? Let's make some of them a little bit before here. This one a little bit later. This one a little bit before, maybe that like that. So now it sounds like this. can even go in and maybe transpose some sense of these, like a little bit down, make it really come alive. Now a little bit here and there really does make a difference. So put this one a little bit down like that. You can also take some of the snare claps here, for example, this one, take this one and make it short like this. So shorten it up, this one a little bit shorter, you know, make it like a longer pattern out of it. And now it sounds like this. And then maybe even put some reverb on some of the hits, makes it come alive. Tip number five. Let's take this straight hi-hat here. And make it sound like this. I put two LFOs on the channel. So one of them is being routed to the decay, like you move it, it's moving around like that with some jitter. So it's a little bit alive. And another LFO going on the filter frequency so it's always moving a little bit up and down and i'm not syncing to the rate to anything so they're always alive so they're kind of like not listening to the track just like in their own time uh some auto pan even some you know phaser on there make it come alive some reverb side chain to the kick and then yeah it sounds like this now our beat sounds like this tip number six and this one's a little bit more advanced, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a loop inside of Ableton. So uh, I found this one. I put it into the session here, and then I moved around where it starts. So here it actually starts at the end of the loop, like you can see here. And then I put a whole chain of effects on it, a utility, a glue compressor, a pedal, and an auto filter. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna route into the gain of the utility. I'm gonna route that hi-hat we just made I'm gonna put an envelope follower there, route it to the gain. You click this button here, you could do it again, map, go into this channel here and push the gain button there. And now it's gonna follow that the envelopes from the hi-hat. So let's listen to, to them together. Now you get something that's really alive and playing along with something else in your track. So let's listen to where we're at now. 
Tip number seven. We're gonna take um, and do some reverses here. So for example, on the shake leg you see here, I did some reverses. Let's just make them again. So instead of it going, duplicate this one, maybe make it a little bit later and, you know, put it down and gain, make, make it really more sl slide in like that. Maybe one more again here, maybe later like that. And now this beat is sounding like this. Cool. And then we could do even do one reverse on the kick here. Let's just put it over here, reverse it, and then put it down in volume like that. You could even do like just a lot more reverses. Let's reverse the clap here as well. Like you can see I did right there. And now it's sounding like this. Now you can just go ahead and put some effects on this. I put some redox with some dry wet on, some saturator and the, uh, parallel compression on the drums. And then now it sounded like this. Without all the effects on there. Really fattening them up. Okay, we are ready to add a bass line on here. But first, let's just listen to what the beat sounded like when we started. Now it sounds like this. Just put in a funky bass line and we're done for today. Thank you so much for uh, watching my videos. If you like the content that I'm making, please subscribe, leave me a like. Until next time, I hope you have a really lovely day. Listen, listen to this now. <laughs>